Hey, welcome back to part three of creating a membership directory using Airtable. So we have gone through and added some simple fields. We've added in a linked uh, country code field, and we've added in a couple different types of fields here with a uh, photo, some certifications. I've gone in and done a little cleanup and filled in some of the empty data that was missing. And I've also renamed our table one to members so that it uh, is more obvious of what's going on in this particular table. So let's move on to, we now want to create a way for our members to auto populate the data for us. We wanna be able to give them a nice form that they can go online and enter everything instead of sending us an email, uh, a text or whatever it is um, and having us enter it, we're gonna have them enter it. So what we wanna do is add a new view and we're gonna select form. And what's gonna happen is we are going to, let's call this, uh, you know, enter, let's see, Amy's, uh, YouTube membership directory. And this is the title that will appear on your form, both on the administrative side, which we're in, as well as on the um, member facing side, which I'll show you in just a minute. So you want to make sure this uh, name is meaningful. So if you need to add a description, you can't hear, use this to populate your information so we can share with others. And you can either have that or not have that. So what's happened is Airtable will automatically pull in every field that was in your table that we made back in parts one and two. So we want to do a little bit of cleanup because we may or may not want all of those fields in here. So we know we want first and last name and we want that to be required. So if you just click on it and change the field to required and continue on down the line, um, they may or may not have a business. We'll skip that. We definitely want their email address. So let's make that required. They may or may not have that. They definitely have a city. So let's make this required. Uh, yes, they'll have a country. Come on. Let's scroll up here. We're going to make that required. Mobile phone. Um, we won't make that required just in case they don't want to give people their phone number. Certifications, we won't make that required. And photo, um, I want to go ahead and make that required because when we go to make our gallery of members, it will look nicer to have uh, all members showing a photograph. So we're gonna make that required. Now we've got all of that in. You'll notice here, since we're using a free Airtable account, you cannot change uh, what this button says. You can only do that with a paid plan. And then you can also um, not hide Airtable branding unless you're on a paid plan. So we're just gonna skip over that. And then down here, you can show a custom message, you know, thank you for providing your information. And then this will um, show a button to enter another response, or we can just have it do uh, a blank form after that amount of time. And you can turn on or off whether people, uh, whether you'll receive a notification from Airtable whenever somebody enters this. So I'm going to turn that off for now. Now we want to see what this is going to look like for members entering this. So what we're going to do is hit the preview button and it will show us in our web browser what people will see if you were to give them the link to this and they would be self-populating. And I apologize for my internet being a little bit slow. So this is what we would see. And here's a nice nifty form.
for people to enter their information. So again, remember, uh, we did our country connection field, so it's going to pull up all of those options. We can select one. Uh, we're going to do our mobile phone. We can pick a certification option. We can do our phone and hit submit. And that data will automatically add, yes, we don't want to save that, we'll add a row. Had I completed entering it, it would add a row automatically right in here. So that's what we want to happen. And now uh, what we're going to do is assume that this is being used uh, somewhere where we need to identify who is an admin and who is just a regular member. So let's put that field in right here and we'll call this member type and we want to be able to only pick one option. So unlike our certifications field, we want a single select field. And now we're going to make admin and regular member as options, just for an example. We're going to hit save. And then uh, once members enter their information, you can come in and say, OK, well, I'm an admin and John is a regular member. Now, since we added this field in after we made our form, we're going to come back over here and take a look. And what's going to happen is it's Airtable won't automatically add in that form field over here to all the rest like it did when we first made it. So in this case, we don't want member type on the form because we don't want people to self-select what type of member they are, especially if you have several member types. Sometimes people don't know. And I'm going to assume that we want that to be an admin only thing so that as rows come in, we can just go in and determine what, what member type somebody is. So we're just going to leave this over here and that is fine the way it is. So uh, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, gallery view of all your membership data. And then in the final video, I'll show you how you can distribute this information and use it in different places. So I'll see you on the next video.